All right, so you want to focus heal. Okay, I've actually made a video about this before, but I decided to actually do another one, so I actually want to actually walk you through it. And also I've been working on Ace's focus heal. Remember, the focus heal is actually when the dog is looking up at you while you're walking. Okay, it's not good leash walking or anything like that. The dog is right by your side, but the head is cocked up. Okay, so this is the how to do it. Uh, it's a good one just to have, just because, you know, it makes the dog really think, it has to really focus on you, concentrate, you're dynamic, you're mobile, you're moving. So a lot going on here, especially if there's a lot of distractions, say you're out on the street and there's other dogs and cars and you just want your dog to focus on you, but you wanna keep walking, this one's a great for that. Also, if you wanna start getting into competitions, I know judging for healing is a necessity to do this, okay? Do you actually need a focus heal? No. But is it cool to do and a good um, little obedience move to uh, train your dog on? Yes. So I'll go ahead and start with Ace. I'll walk you through it, then I'll get with Ava. And then as I, you know, continue working with them, I'll come over and share some other thoughts and ideas that I've had before. Biggest thing I gotta say when it comes to the focus here, when you're starting out, number one is lower, lower, lower like a motherfucking whore okay i got plenty of treats in my pocket so make sure when they're doing it they're amped up and they are hungry so if you're going to do it at any time throughout the day do it around when you're feeding them okay i think it was i'm going to butcher her name but isabel balaquas i think that's how you say it i don't, I don't know over in europe this bitch, I actually just seen her take a whole food tray and just literally walk in the dog, just doing her focus heel, working on that. So that's one way to do it. Again, I always just do it around their feeding time. So this way I know they're hungry. Again, you wanna build drive, their dogs need to eat, okay? Anyone who says their dog isn't food motivated, get them fucking hungry and they'll be fucking motivated to do what you wanna do, okay? So keep lowering, even when you think they got it, continue to lower. Number two, do not start building duration at first. Okay, don't overcomplicate the focus heel. It's just a position, dog next to you with the head up. That's the position, okay? But do not build duration at first. Literally just get that position, one or two steps, reward. There you go. So that's the beginning. And I'll show you that with Ace. And then like I said, I'll in between, you know, share some other ideas and things that have helped me because I believe it or not, I have struggled with the focus heel for a long time until I kind of figured it out what worked and what didn't work for me. So this is what I'm gonna do and hopefully it helps you guys. All right, so here it goes. I got plenty of treats, so let's we'll start with Ace. Ready? Lower so they know they're one, two, yes. You can always build frustration, get them amped up. So this way there's, um, making sure you should not go over the camera. Build some frustration so they get amped up, build some drive. And then biggest thing, I just bring them back and then start following. One, two, sit, reward. Again, when they, if you wanna do the sit, they wanna sit down and back. Cause again, you're starting to form that head cock of being up and back, okay? Come here. There's the head, one, two, yes. I'm actually just rewarding by a spin because I always want to reward backwards. You'll see it with Ava for sure because she always likes to protrude forward. So for her, I always want to make sure I'm releasing backwards, okay? Do the left side. One, two. Yeah, there you go. Good boy, face. Deuce. One, two. Three. Yes, good boy. Boost. One, two, three, spin. There it is. One, two. Yes, good boy. A dog can lose interest on the focus heel because they can only they will only want to chase the food for so long, especially if they're low drive, like kind of like Ace. So that is why I add the spin in it. Okay, just to break up the monotony of counting the steps and saying, you know, good foos, 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 whatever. I actually just make it more dynamic by getting them breaking up with the little spin and then they start chasing again. So again, they kind of build, might 
just protecting air on side of caution that they don't lose their drive. I'm starting to build drive in between. I also can build more drive by picking up my speed, okay? So here you go. Yes, good boy. Hey. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Come on, boom, 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 clumsy and awkward and just so long he's not good for a quick sharp turn so that's something i've been working with him and been redoing his training so this one now you're going to see me do make a quick u-turn still holding it and the way i hold it it's nothing fancy just right here and right by my side right on that hip right there ace has got a big head and he's tall so it might be a little higher with ava you'll see it a little lower so again you're just making it to scale based on the height of your own dog okay I'll do it from this side now. And Ace kind of defaults on the right. Ava is more left. I don't have a preference on which side you start on because if they're really talented, they should be able to focus heel on both sides. So this way you're just not one trick pony, just doing it on one side. Uh, Ace, I've always, when we got him, we were walking mainly on the right hand side for leash walking. So I think that's why we just had a, you know, like a default goes on the right side, but they're really trying to work both ways with them. Okay, so I'll do it on the left side now. Come on. Sharp Yui. Yes, good boy. All right, Ace did really good, so I'm capping it right there. Biggest thing, do not, I repeat, do not go for it. Let me do one more. With the focus heel, do not do one more. Any type of training and obedience, you never want to do that one more. And it's really easy to do because you think it's a simple movement. They should be able to get it. You want to leave on a high note. Do not go for one more. And next thing you know, they fuck up. And then you're trying to get them back into the game. And it's really hard. And now you're basically trying to climb Mount Everest again. Leave on a high note. Leave them wanting more. Leave yourself wanting more too. And that will be perfect. So again, he's... I don't know how many times we did it. Five, six, whatever. He did perfect. He did great. Uh, no real mistakes. So I'm capping it right there. Ava, I'm going to go do her. You'll see her head cock actually. I think if you notice with a lot of my videos when she does her focus heel, her head cock actually goes up and in almost like across my left leg. When you're doing it, with, with the lure, with the piece of cheese I got here, her head will actually go neutral. But when I take it away, it'll start, the head will start going across the body. They just do that. I mean, you, I could spend forever trying to get her head to go up nice and vertical. It is what it is. I would like it up and vertical, but the fact is I'm not going to bitch about it just because, you know, she's come a long way with it. I'm not going to nitpick. I'm not going to be pulling hairs over it. The fact is if she can stay right on my left leg, looking up, heads a little cross, whatever, a lot of dogs do it. It's not that big of a deal. So if you see that happening with your dog, don't stress it. It's just a kind of a natural thing. But either way, still works. I do. Hey, over here. Lay down. There's the head, there's the focus. Yes. 
when it comes to it, when they start getting really good at it with the open hand, that's a good indication you gotta start amping it up. Okay, so if you're doing open hand and they're getting that position really nicely and they're doing five, six, seven steps, start amping up. So maybe go closed hand, bring it a little over maybe, you know, just outside because eventually you want that arm to swing on the outside of their head. So if they can hold that focus heel and you got the treat on the left side of their head, if they're on the left side of you, then you're really got something going. Okay, now you're on the right track. But for right now, just right there, progress it, close the hand, get a little higher. That's when they start reaching. That's when they can get that little bounce in their step, okay? Hey, Pick up some speed. Yes. Down. Right. Boost. No. Nope. Right. Boost. Right. Boost. Right. Boost. Right. Boost. Just breaking up the monotony by walking behind, or behind, walking backwards. Again, once you start getting some a dog who starts going forward, you gotta start going backwards. And then that's why again we said earlier, when you release them, release them behind you. Okay, just cause this way, it starts putting it in their head that, hey, if I go too far forward, the treat's coming from back there. So let me slow my ass down and start getting back here so I'm closer to the tree. Come here, hey bud. Trees in the hand, look at the head. Yes. Another one, two, hey, no, down. Another one you can do, start changing up where you start rewarding them. I know I just said release behind them, but you don't always have to, re um, you don't always have to reward them in the same hand. Just because you spin them around, you can always bring your other hand involved. So this way they don't just default to thinking, oh, left hand is left side, left hand. No, you can break it up and go righty. So again, this is where, challenging comes into play because this way if they get too comfortable with the same thing over and over they're going to lose interest in the game really quickly so making it you know not a little harder but keeping their brain active okay of like where is the tree coming then they're going to start paying attention a lot more one thing i do is literally just right there in my mouth i can close my hand they think it's in there but like the tree is still right there and they can see it so i'm still getting that look right up there okay so you'll see a couple of different rays. Hey, come on. Yes. That was from the mouth to the right hand. Do it between the legs. Head right there. Still looking. I yes.
Face? No, down. Yes. So again, breaking it up. That one was just staying in line rather than going forward with it, just going horizontally, but the head is still tracing me. Ava. Good boost. There's the legs going all forward, so going backwards. And now just playing with it, the front, left, and then you can call it boost. Yes. So again, just breaking it up rather than just the left and right, you can also do a front, left, and right. Good contact front of their leg is just still right on you and then once you call it boom head still comes up but now they're walking backwards and you're walking backwards and they're walking forward okay so one more and I have no treats on this one so this one would just be all based on praise with that quick little eh. Ah. Still head, still cock. Yes. Good girl. All right, gonna cap them both there right now. I don't know if you can hear, but it's actually kind of windy. So a few strange scents flying around. So I think that's why they keep breaking or at least Ace was and she's a little more amped up. But anyways, don't care. Still makes it good for a good distraction. And yes depending on where you're doing it and how often you're doing little things like that do make a difference. Okay, so, but if you're gonna start this one, recommend doing it when you're feeding them. Whether it's breakfast or dinner, make sure they're getting hungry. Use a high value, high ticket reward. So this one is just cheese, not their usual kibble. You can use a ball, but because a ball is so big and so wide, or same thing with a tug, can do it under your arm. That's why I would rather start with a piece of food than the ball. You can definitely do it when you start getting then, you know, more conditioned to the movement. But for right now, I would just use food and I would get them used to knowing, hey, if your hand is in front of your face, that's fine. But as soon as you say foos, you cock that hand up. So this way they know their head is supposed to go up. And like I said, that's the position. So don't overthink it, just know Yours might be normal. Ava. Contact. Foos. Yes. That's it. Just know it's the position of the head cock. So you can even just do it walking in place. Boom, boom, and then foos. As soon as that head pops up, reward. And that's it. So keep the session short. Have fun. Break it up by, you know, rewarding from different hands, different locations, as long as it's putting them in a further back position, you'll be fine, okay? Be patient, build a strong dog, build a strong relationship, have fun, talk to you next time, done.